Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and uh, once again, I have a couple of figures I want to show off on camera. Um, not doing a full-on, you know, musical showcase video kind of thing. Uh, they take a while to, like, record and edit and everything like that, so I uh, haven't gotten around to them with the three um, Ken Cole figures that I did a previous video in this format showing off. Uh, but I got... These were the last two figures I got with uh, some birthday and holiday funds and everything like that. And uh, took them a while to get here. One is um, from Shokugeki no Soma, the Mito Ikumi uh, Furyu figure. And this is the box she comes in. My second favorite character from Shokugeki no Soma, the anime, of course. And... Um, Unfortunately, Soma himself, which is my favorite character, um, I found this figure for about $25 through Amazon. And uh, unfortunately, the Soma figures are 60 bucks, And that's, that's ridiculous. That's outside of my sort of, uh, you know, monetary range for a figure. Um, so I went with my second favorite, as I say, only 25 bucks. I will be opening it, um, but I also wanted to show another $25 figure was Hestia from, is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Familia Myth Special Figure, this is called. And uh, Hestia herself. And such. And um, I just figured I'd do like a mini unboxing and just kind of, similarly to what I did with the Ken Cole figures, just kind of showing them a little bit. Uh, so you can get a little bit of an idea of what you get out of the package. Now, I'm going to be opening Mito first. And as you can see, to protect the figure, they have a nice cardboard in there. And the little display base is actually in a separate package. Um, pretty, you know, flat black, plain uh, display base. And I will be opening the plastic. So we can get a better look at Mito Ikumi. I really loved in Shokugeki no Soma how she ends up sort of warming <laughs> to Soma and uh, becoming almost like a, a fangirl to his cooking style and you know everything like that when they're in the competition. And now this is interesting. It's actually taped uh, to the cardboard, so that's cool. Make sure it doesn't rattle around and get broken or whatever. Unfortunately, I had a figure, a Sayaka figure from Madoka Magica that I ordered several months ago and uh, had to get refunded because the arm was broken off on it. And uh, so I still have the figure. I had my money refunded, but um, unfortunately, you know, <laughs> I have to like super glue it or something or get a replacement. And uh, so Mito Kumi with some kind of plastic thingy to protect the details of her hands and or hand as the case may be because it's so up close to the dress. They do this sometimes, you know, make sure it doesn't have uh, any way of getting scuffed or, you know, messed up, that kind of thing. And I will attempt to pull off this head piece. Comes off relatively easy enough. And they even got plastic pieces. One flew off uh, around her head. That way, again, so it doesn't get scuffed. The paint doesn't get, you know, messed about. And here is Mito Ikumi. Now, you're probably noticing her hand here. And uh, as per the image on the box, she comes with and it's part of, you know, it's in with the base. You can see right there, a little sort of frying pan. She is the meat master. And, uh, oh, I just noticed, yeah, she's got her <laughs> signature blade on her side. And uh, looking really freaking cool. Definitely awesome. You can kind of see, if I hold her in front of me, the little quaff, <laughs> a little spike of hair. Really cool. Really nicely sized, beautiful piece, as usual. Another prize figure, and uh, just 
I love it. I love and adore these. Again, if you are patient and, you know, you go looking around online, uh, at least has been the case for me. Every figure that I ever get is $20, $30 sometimes, sometimes cheaper. Um, a few of the Kong Cole, you know, prize figures that I've gotten have actually only been $18, $20. And, uh... They are all the real deal. You know, you don't have to worry about bootlegs and things like that. And uh, so that was Mito. We'll get to Hestia now. So we'll open the box. And I just, I, I really love these. Now this is cool too. This is, because this box, when it arrived, you might be able to tell like here, it was actually indented. Uh, so I was worried about the figure inside, but if you look inside, there's an extra barrier of protection they have the figure in, so if there are any indentations, the figure itself will not be affected negatively. And uh, this one also comes with a separate like display base. Um, another just sort of flat black, which is cool. I don't need uh, anything fancy schmancy with the display bases, and Hestia herself comes in this neat little bubble wrap package to protect the piece and they always tape them nicely done so that again nothing will flail about you know um, and again I just wanted to kind of do this in more informal instead of doing the music video showcase video kinds of things second layer of protective wrap because uh, it's kind of more fun for me a little bit now I go through these shifts in how I want to do videos and whatever, you know, passion uh, or, or drive I have to make videos, I just need to switch it up from time to time and do things more to my comfort level and everything. And here she is. And as you can see, because of her spindly hair, she's got this cardboard piece to make sure the hair, you know, doesn't get bent out of whack. That's one of the problems I find as a figure collector, and I'm a very picky figure collector. Um, you know, I only go for things that I actually really want. I don't have to be a sort of completionist uh, or anything like that. I just go for the figures that, you know, attract me. Like, um, But whenever, if you, if you happen to collect figures from time to time, especially if you store them away like I have to do, I have most of my collection stored away in my closet, uh, sometimes if you don't keep the figures apart and everything, the paint can melt or, or you know, uh, accessories or whatever like that. Sometimes the limbs of figures, especially in the Florida heat, for those who don't know I live in Florida, um, can get bent out of whack and they can be permanently set that way unless you use like hot water and try to mold them back and everything. Uh, but here is Familia Myth Hestia figure. Looking just adorable. All kinds of awesome. And I love the I love how the hair is all flipped about. It's like she's in mid sort of spin, you know? Which is akin to the art on the box, to a point. <laughs> just adorable. An adorable, adorable piece. Complete with the little bells in her hair and such like that. She's got a little bit of a quaff thingy right there too. <laughs> She's got the tie around her chest region, goes all the way around, and uh, no shoes, spare feet, for all you foot fetishists out there. <laughs> so cute. I love the detail. Her eyes, her beautiful blue eyes. The accents, you know, that's one of the things I loved about her character and I love about this figure. The color motif, you know, it's kind of basic. It's blue, it's white, but I love how, you know, the contrast in her sort of, uh, you know, for her pigtails, if you will, her hair bands or whatever you want to call them, flowers, has the white with the blue outline matching the white and the blue. I don't even know if she had these stars on her dress in the show. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen it, but the blue tie around her for whatever purpose that serves other than to be as a sort of a you know bustier if you will um her little whatever you would call that neckerchief or whatever but her eyes are the blue 
you know. And so, very cool. Very cool prize figure stuff once again. Hestia and Mitokumi, probably, yeah, about the same size. They will look well fitted, even though they're from two different series, they will look well fitted together on a shelf. And uh, until I get like a glass case or something of that sort, I'm not going to be displaying them. I keep most of my figures in the boxes. Uh, some areas around my room I have them, you know, with the window boxes and such uh, sitting on my shelves and everything so I can look at them in the box. But um, since I don't have any sort of, you know, safe uh, way of displaying them so they won't get dusty or ruined or anything like that, I keep most of them in the box and I'll take them out from time to time and check them out again. And as I say, just two really awesome figures. Two kick-ass female characters. Very cute, very adorable. All kinds of, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the wide range of emotions from just being cute and bubbly and funny to being authoritative, to being kick-ass, all that kind of stuff. Uh, sometimes being <laughs> nervous and such. But, um, yeah. Two really awesome pieces. Wanted to share that with you guys. In case you might see these listed, uh, you know, online and you, you know, want a better look at them, this is what you get. These are what you get. They're pretty awesome. And, um, you know, hopefully I can lead somebody in the direction of hunting these down if they so desire to grab them. So, again, wanted to share that with you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it finds you well. And uh, that'll be pretty much it for me on this, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.